Okay, so now we need to create a few groups here for file share permission. So the first group I'm going to create, I'll name it as file share contributor. I'll name it FS contributor. So let me create that first. Okay. And I will add all my users over here. So we already have AVD user group. So I will add that group here. So I'll add AVD users group here over here. So it Okay, let me just click apply. Okay. And the next group I'm going to create is FS elevated contributors. So only my admin will be here. So let me create that. And I will add my AVD admin, which we have already created. So I will add this user in that group. This is for the elevation, elevated permission. So just let me. Yep, so those groups are created. So these group will be synced to our Azure Active Directory, and then we will assign the roles in our file share permission. Okay, so we are back on our Azure portal. Let me go into the Azure Active Directory, click on the groups, and there you are. You can see our FS contributor and elevated contributor has been synced from our domain controller. Now we need to provide the file share permission to those groups. So let me go into my storage account. Let's go to the file share. Let me open the file share. And from here, from access control IAM, let's click on that. And let's go to the role assignment. You can see at the moment, by default, there is a test JVD because it's owner. So what we do is just add role assignment. So the role and who we are going to assign. So the role for the contributor role, we are giving it to all our users who's going to use our virtual desktop. So the role for that is, it's called storage file data SMB share contributor. So this is the role we need to provide to our FS contributor because all our AVD users are in this group. So let me click save. It's adding the role assignment. Yep, successfully added. You can see that. Let me refresh it. Okay, that's fine. Let me click add again. And the second rule we need to do is a storage file data SMB share elevated contributor. And I'm going to apply this for our elevated contributor, which is our admin. Okay, that's done. So now we have added the roles. The roles, you can view all the other roles if you want to give it to anyone from the roles here. And for the roles assignment, we can do it from the add role assignment. Okay, so there you go. I just refreshed the page and I can see this FS contributor has been added and elevated contributor has been added as well. So we have provided the contributor role to our all AVD users. So user one to six, which we have created, if you remember. So now the next step is what we are going to do is 
we are going to mount our file share to our domain controller so let me do that so I'm here in my file share so when you go to the file share and under the overview on the top you'll see connect and for the Windows and Linux and Mac OS it's giving the script the PowerShell script I'm just going to copy this PowerShell script and we'll go to the domain controller and bound this file share into the domain controller so here we are in our virtual machine so I've just ran that PowerShell script which we have copied from our file share and I can see it's mounted our storage account in our VM so now we are ready to go for our next step So now as per our next step, we are going to configure the NTFS permission for our file share. So it's already mounted here. So let me go into the properties, go into security, advanced, and let me add FS contributor and permission is okay so let me add the elevated contributor role as well I think it's FS let me check the name yep elevated And let me add our whole AVD users so everybody will get the access to this file share. Okay, that is done. Now what we are going to do is let me create a folder here and name it as profiles. And under the profile as well, we will give some roles. We will amend this. Let me, let me disable the inheritance, remove everything. Okay, so let me add first creator owner. Contributor. I make it full control here, and then I will add all the AVD users. I'll put it as create folder as well. done so NTFS permission has been done so let me go back to my Azure portal and see if the profile folder is appeared on there or not so here I am in my Azure portal so you can see the profile folder which we have created in our storage mounted storage file share in VM it's appearing here there's nothing here at the moment but when we create our Azure virtual desktop and when users will log in all the profiles will appear over here so that's the basic logic of uh, FS logics okay so we have finished up to the step 8 we have configured the NTFS permission on profiles container which we have created so now it's a time to go on the step 9 where we are going to create a new VM and we are going to create a reference image which we are going to use that in the host pool.